You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. But you never heard me when I said I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Life has a drift to it. A current that pushes us through. And yet it's often at odds with the gravity of who we are. The constant push and pull between right and wrong. Some call it good and bad. Others call it black and white. Nobody talks about gray. Real life lives in the gray. There is a real evil in the world, Mom. A pure evil. I've seen it. You remember writing that letter? Yes, sir. Can you explain to us what exactly you meant by those words? Well, evil exists under lock and key in here. But out in the real world, you don't always see it coming. It tends to hide in plain sight out there. If released, if, how do you think you'd do around all that evil? It's hard to say. You do understand how that sounds. Yeah, it makes us think you'd go back to a life of crime. I was never in a life of crime. You were arrested, took a plea deal. And I did what my PD told me to do. Do you take responsibility for your crime? As much as I can. Yes, sir. Have you kept in contact with anyone on the outside? Mr. Walker. Anything else you care to add? My mother had me when she was very young. My father wasn't really around, and we didn't have much family to speak of, so I owe her. She's the main reason I want to get out. Mr. Walker, it appears to this board that you are not yet rehabilitated to the point of being released back into society. Therefore, we recommend... Okay. Mr. Walker, you've caught us on a charitable day. We're giving you that chance to take care of your mother. And son, stay away from any evil you may encounter out there. Well, I dug my heels into a concrete thorn, marauder's clothing's all I bought, and I'm objecting. To most objections And I spun my weed Right off the spoke You know bad luck Life's best joke And I ain't never found No penny facing up Cause life is all Life is so damn hard Sometimes I feel like I'm So bottles high, blow your smoke up in the sky. You know we are bound to die, but death can wait. <laughs>
I remember the first time I got popped. Stole a dirt bike from my asshole neighbor. I was just borrowing it from the old bastard. They gave me 30 days in the pen, but I only served four. Guess I made the other guys too nervous. Bet a monster's just dropping the bucket to you, huh? Sign off on you drinking? It's only one beer I'm buying. That's just pretty stressful having the kid back. His name's Billy. Don't turn this around on me. He's the one sitting there like a space case. He just needs a little bit of time to get back in the sway of things. It's a little bit of time. You guys always come out of there even more fucked up. What's your excuse, Mr. Four Days? You need to keep an eye on him. He could freak out at any moment. Don't tell me how to raise my son. Next to be telling me you need your space. Don't be a cliche. I'm not the one acting like a drunken ass. I'm just playing my role in this fucking good time. Are you really sure you want to do this? Okay, buddy. Time to go. Oh, what do you know? He can talk. You think prison made you a man? Do you want to find out? Mm, Billy. Billy, Billy, that's enough. Inside. Oh, it's enough. Inside. Inside. Hey, buddy. Inside, I got this. If you only did four days, you would have served that in county, not prison. Might want to get your shit straight next time. It's inside. Go on. I got this. I got this. I got it. Got it. What? Do you? you want me to apologize? Thought someday I'd be husband number three? Keep dreaming. He's a big talker when he's drunk. Yeah, well, there's a lot of those inside. I'm sorry he hit you. I'm sorry I stuck my nose in. No, you didn't. You didn't. He was never a long-term kind of guy anyway. Well, you could do better. Story of my life. Um, why do you have to ask your doctor if you can have a beer? I didn't want to tell you when you were in there. I... I didn't see the point. You know, why worry you? Well, well, you've done plenty of that for me. It's different. I'm the parent. You had me when you were 15. It's not like you had a choice. It's my liver. I need a new one. I'm on one of those lists. How long does that take? They, they don't know. I'm AB negative, which happens to be a rare blood type. Turns out your mom is just a shitty match. What can I do? You can help me do the dishes. Come on, mom, the fucking dishes? I'm serious. Billy, I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. Wish you'd let me show you a little appreciation. Billy, you've been punished enough. <laughs> he really couldn't hit for shit. You are right. He was a big ass, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, he was kind of the worst. Yeah, he really was. Oh, he really was. <laughs> Thanks for always looking after me. Oh, Billy, you made a mistake. You just, just made a mistake. It's time to move on. Yep. Yep.
you made breakfast. Well, yeah. I told you to get used to some changes around here. Yeah. I love it. It's just, uh, ugh, not really hungry. Here, it's 50. Should be enough. Better be enough. Okay, I'll be home around 6. Okay. And I left your resumes on the desk. can I help you, Billy? Yeah, my mother, Grace. Um, I think she's a patient of yours. You're the son? Yeah. I'm sorry, but I can't discuss a patient's condition. Well, Doc, I mean... I know she's on the list, man. She told you she needs a new liver? I don't understand. I mean, she literally never drank. It's not from drinking. Sometimes the liver just shuts down. It could be genetics or any number of factors. What about a, a living donor or one of those? Uh, her liver's too far gone for a partial or living donor. Believe me, we tried everything. Her liver just hasn't responded the way we would have hoped. How long? That's always hard to say. Well, pretend she's your mom. Six months, maybe a year. Okay. And the list? Unfortunately, she's fairly far down on it. Well, how can I move her up it? You can't. Excuse me. Hey, you know where I've been for the last seven years? Yeah. I'll go back before she suffers any more than she has to. I'll obviously deny we ever had this conversation. But I know a doctor over in Juarez that can get you a healthy liver. It's not cheap. It's far from ethical or legal. But money talks a little louder across the wall. How much? $160,000 is the going rate. Now, if you'll excuse me. It's a little light, Billy. I'm <laughs> just fucking with you, pendejo. <laughs> oh, and I know about your uh, vacation. Yeah. Wait, Billy, please. Look, I will hire you, man. I mean, you saved my ass a few times back in school. I remember that. But my dad, he owns the place. He's old school, make ties and shit. He wouldn't let a felon within a mile of his cars. Sorry, man.
Mr. Walker. We got her stable. She's not in any pain now. So, so she passed out from her medications? Not likely. You ran a cardiac enzyme in PTINR. I'm afraid her liver's worse than we thought. I don't know what that means, man, because you were supposed to be monitoring her. She missed her last two appointments. We haven't been able to test her in over a month. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but her timetable has accelerated. How long? Two months. We can keep her comfortable here. But without a new liver? John, I need you. Uh, no, 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 I did a double. I'm out of here. Uh, come on, I got three patients who would code at any moment. Uh, I... Thanks. Do you believe in love at first sight? Uh, <laughs> you've got a unique way of expressing it. I'm sorry. Uh, I was just kidding. Yeah. Uh, I've seen a lot worse. Yeah, I can only imagine. Uh, you don't want to imagine. Trust me. Um, could you do something about these lights? It's not really doing me any favors. Here, let me uh, just cool you off a little bit. It's clean. Mm. Mm, cool towel. Manners. All part of the service, ma'am. Oh, boy, I really hope you forget this is how we met. Forget love at first sight? I don't think I can do that. I'm John. Grace Andrews. Grace Andrews. Sorry. Um, I don't think we've ever met, but your face is familiar. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I just have one of those faces. It's one of those faces that's launched a million mistakes. I'd shake your hand, except uh, under the circumstances. Oh, no, 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 don't worry. I, I deal with a lot of dirt in my job, too. I work at a law firm. Oh, you're a lawyer? No, receptionist. Huh. Crappy pay, but great insurance. It's a comfy bed and fantastic room service. <laughs> Is this your first night in the palace? How'd you guess? It's part of my job to know these things. Crappy pay, lousy benefits, but for some reason, I, I keep on coming back. <laughs> it's also my job to change the name on the board. Andrews. There. It's now you're official. Hmm? Boy, I'm glad that last guy is gone. He's a total pain in the neck. He kept throwing up. Mm, sick bastard. You can't even imagine. I don't really want to. I promise I'm not going to be a pain. Good. Well. Always nice to make an unexpected friend, huh? Yeah, can never have too many. Yeah. Can I get you anything else? No. Nope. Well, in that case, Grace Andrews. Lights out. <laughs> Sleep tight.
Don't give me that face. It's the only one I got. I know I have lousy timing, huh? Doc says you're not in any pain. I'd be at work right now if they let me get out of here. I could only trade places with you. Oh, come on, stop. We've been cooped up for way too long. It's my turn for a little while. What can I do? You can get out of here. Go have some fun. There'll be time for fun later. You're a lousy liar. Go on. All right. Get some rest, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm. Gotta go earn my keep. Mm-hmm. Staring at it won't make it go down any easier. Mr. Walker is a bad man. Excuse me? You're shot, Johnny Walker. Don't tell me I have to cut you off after none. Walker's my last name. Really? Yeah, I haven't had a shot in a while. It's your birthday? No. <laughs> Why start now? Get fired or something? To be fired, I'd have to have a job, but those seem hard to come by. Tell me about it. I was over at UTEP studying to become a teacher. I didn't finish because I had to pay the bills. Take what you can get nowadays. Yeah. in the house. Yo, yo, Jay Bone. Can I get another beer, please? Jesus, man. Oh, shit. Yo, Billy, when you get back, man? And I can respect that. It's been a minute. You good? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm OK. I'm OK. How you been? You know, chilling, living the dream, making that sit green. Mm -hmm. What are you doing for work now? The motherfucker mayor of the West Side. Making my rounds, visiting all my constituents. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I'm just fucking with you, man. Slinging that Tina. Yeah, you want a G? Wholesale discount. Oh, no, brother. I'm, I'm straight. Thank you. I could use a job. Can't help you there. Upper management makes those calls. Yo, J Train, can you give my boy Billy here another shot? Thanks, man. Thank you. Yo, that girl, Jen, she got a body like a racetrack, man. I've been trying to run the Indy 500 on that ass for years. Hey, you sure you can't help me out, man? Look, man, drug trade ain't for you. Shit's so corporate now. Cartel runs a tight-ass ship. People disappear on the regular for the tiniest little slip-ups. Ain't no forgiveness for Reynolds. Yo, yeah, man, I just, I hear you, brother. I just, I just need some fucking cash. You know what I mean? Yes. What the fuck, man? I'm a cop now? Are you coming on mad strong, Billy? <laughs> Got to make sure five only putting the screws to you. Brother, I promise you I'm not on the radar, OK? My issues are more life and death. It's about some hoe? Man, you know what I do to get over some bitch? I listen to three two short songs back to back, then I take a shot, and I'm good. Drink up. Biatch! <laughs> uh. Yeah. Feel better? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yo, I got to bounce. OK, man. It was great running into you. We should catch up soon. And don't forget to vote for Tyler Griggs, all right? OK. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome.
Peace out, bitches. Billy back in town. Good seeing you, Billy. Okay, man. You know that piece of shit? In a former life. Nobody ever really gives a shit about a dealer. Oh. But he must have a crush. Tyler never pays for his drinks without me threatening to call the cops. Can I get another shot of the bad man? Your wish, Mr. Walker. Welcome back to the land of bad decisions. Whiskey River, take my mind. Don't let her memory torture me. Tweaker. Thought I'd like to take it in the ass, huh? You trying to fuck me? Tyler, man, I'm... Man, shut the fuck up! You ain't got shit to say that I want to hear. I'll buy you a drink, offer my friendship, give you advice on bitches, and the first thing your punk ass thinks is, oh, let me go rob this overly kind motherfucker that bought me drinks? Move! I do my fucking in the living room. Come on, speed it up. That's all my fault. Show my generosity of spirit to my fellow man. Have him thinking, Brother Tyler, of the Sisters of Mercy is gonna be easy to fuck. But my time in the joint wasn't for slanging, Billy. It was for aggravated assault. Big boy shit. Turns out violence comes easy to me. I'm a goddamn virtuoso. Fucking yo-yo my pain. See, you also probably assume that this was my path. True? I do lay my head in major pipe here, talking three to five bitches a week. But this is also a drop house for the cartel. When you steal from these motherfuckers, they take that shit real personal. La Familia is no joke. Yo, it's T. Go ahead. I caught an intruder in the nest. Well, these cowboys. They're here for one reason, to make sure that no one ever fucks with their business. See, get it done. Three cowboys are on route. They live for this shit, taking things apart. Not like cars, I'm talking people. Fingers, toes, dicks, shit you don't even want to know about, Billy. Man, fuck, I probably just earned myself a strike for making that call. Can I have a cigarette? You wanna know some crazy shit? I'm gonna smoke. <laughs> Hate the smell, taste. Shit burns my lungs. Not a good thing in my line of work. Fools are always trying to smoke when they getting blasted. <laughs> I bought a fat ass rail instead. Get you feeling no pain. Plus, when they get you, you'll bleed out a whole lot faster. I don't like to party alone. Do the line. Shit ain't a request. That's the spot. That's what I was talking about. Mm. That's good. You want to know what I learned in prison? How to suck a mean cock and tickle some balls? How to take a fucking beat. Ah! You fucking dead! Ah! Thought that was the only gun that I got! I'm a drug dealer, bitch!
pandemic, while other Texas cities are seeing a spike in homelessness. And in current total debt, and over $115 trillion in future committed debt, the problem... Our top story this morning, El Paso General Hospital has announced a new association with the Reynolds Rehabilitation Ranch. The initiative is intended to increase it. funding for the ranch's efforts to rehabilitate addicts through work... In a The one Vic. Yep. Shotgun round to the torso, less than 15 feet. And he took off through that door. Huh? Dealer gets his ticket punched. <laughs> Whose blood is that? Not our Vic's. We'll test that and run it through. Hmm. Dealer put up a fight. I'm almost impressed. As far as I can tell, this room was trampled before we even arrived. Ah, the shooter went on a shopping spree. Ah, shooter took off. Some cowboys paid her Vic a house call after the fact. Forensics, can we see you outside? Cowboys, huh? Yep. I gotta get back to the station, all right? Yeah, sure thing. Hey there, Bubba. for the candle. Uh, I didn't know it was me. Good hunch. <laughs> um, listen, I'm gonna do my best to not mess up the floors again. Well, don't you make any promises you can't keep down. Mm. Hey, mm. It's hospital. Uh, you finished now? I think you're my last customer. Yep. Will I see you later? You planning on breaking your promise already? No, I just thought maybe you'd like to check on your candle. Yeah, I'm, I'll be back at 6. Mm, okay, maybe I'll wait up for you. Are you allowed to eat with the patients? I make my own rules. A rebel, I like it. Well, um... I, I could only offer you pudding cups, but uh, I gotta tell you, they're pretty tasty. Well, pudding happens to be this rebel's favorite food, so... I'll see you at six, huh? Hoping you met a nice lady friend. Yeah. Looks like you already have an admirer. Just a buddy. You know, they all start out that way. Okay, cute enough. How are you feeling? Great. Great. I get to lay in bed all day and watch all my favorite talk shows. Oh, okay. yeah. Long night, huh, buddy? Bad night. It's long. I was job hunting. It's fine. It's nothing. Sure. I'm out of prison. Please stop worrying. I want you to look for a job, not trouble. Trouble tends to find me. Look, I can call work. I'm sure there's something you can do around the office. That's stop. I got it covered. I swear. I actually got some leads. You want to share? You want to tell dear old mom? 
No. I don't want to jinx it, you know? Of course not. Give me my purse. <clears throat> Look at here. Here's my phone, take it, and my car keys. Now, go make nice with the pretty ladies. <laughs> okay. Thank you. No more fighting. Your goddamn cowboy boots were all over the house. Is that all you guys wear? Look, tell Reynolds I'm all over this asshole, all right? He'll make a mistake. Honey, fuck it out. Guessing last night ended badly? Oh, I felt. You're right. Must not have ended too badly. I'm back for more punch, man. Any luck with the nine to five? Not yet. It'll work out. Somehow it always does. Yeah. Hey, Tex. Seen the nitwit today. Tyler? No, haven't had the pleasure. Fuck. Want me to give him a message when he turns up? Yeah. Tell his ass to call me. Dumb shit's voicemail is full. Can I help you, faggot? No. Boyfriend? Think Tyler's bad news? That guy's the worst news you could possibly get. Dealer? I want to be pimp. Gets his customers from the strip club he bounces at. Glad you don't know tax. Yeah, I mean, I am one of the good guys. Ha! Huh. In my bar? Is the best. Without question. So, what do you like to do when you're not working? Get into the nitty gritty, huh? Well, I don't have a lot of time left here. Well, don't say that. It's a joke. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. Patient humor. <laughs> what do I do? I, um, uh, I have an apartment. I, um, I work on my car. 67 Firebird, classic to me, anyway. And, uh, well, that's, well, sometimes I go to church. Oh. Only people I ever knew that went to church were nuns or folks searching to pray their way out of something terrible in life. Well, you got me again. I'm a nun. I know it was something. <laughs> I used to be a doctor. And uh, some years ago, my mm -hmm. my life just unraveled. I mean, it was coming apart before, but I didn't see it. I was blinded by my own magnificence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
In the end, I trashed everything, everybody, my family, my practice, my friendships. I burned it, all of it. And uh, my life dead ended. I'm sorry. I am too. I think that sorry, sorrow, it's the color of my life, whatever color sorrow is. <sighs> but my car, on the other hand, is red. And uh, I think, well, maybe that's why I, I work on it. I'm trying to get back to that, you know, <laughs> life. There are days, a lot of days, when I don't feel that life is really an available option. You feel that way now? Now, right now, I feel exposed. You're the most vulnerable man I've ever seen. It's rare. I think you mean weak. No, no. They're, they're, they're usually just stupid little boys with anger issues, but I've never seen a man be more of a man than the man you are now. <laughs> I take it you go for the sensitive type, huh? <laughs> no, it's just, it's just, well, it, you remind me of my son when he was younger. You have a son? I do. I'd really like you to meet him someday. Okay. Let's make a date. Ooh. <laughs> a date. <laughs> Like you're keeping busy? You're at my parole hearing. I'm your PO, Sarah Jensen. Am I in trouble? Why do you ask that? Well, you're standing on my driveway. Oh. Is your mom around? I'd like to talk to her. She's the reason I got out, isn't she? She came to me, told me about her condition. I'm a mother, too. She never said anything. Well, she kept on top of me, had me take a second look at your case. Your mom? Well, she's at El Paso General. I'm sorry to hear that. Come by my office next week. You find a job yet? Not for lack of trying. Get one.
I know what you're gonna say. Fuck! This is a burrito. I ask for a special kind of burrito every fucking day. Peanut butter, jelly, mayonnaise. And they fill it with some kind of egg shit and something else. And then they expect me to eat it? No way. I try to avoid it myself. Do you know why you and I never met face to face before? I have a pretty good idea. I hate pigs, especially dirty ones. You look around this whole ranch. Take a look. 30,000 acres. Not one fucking pig. As soon as I get a DNA hit, I'll deliver this fucking guy to you, all right? Uh, not right. I'm supposed to just sit around here, enjoy a piece of shit burrito and you relax? You know, that's not all I'm doing, you know. I'm on it. Really? And yet here we are. Listen, this isn't even my case. I start, I start making waves, they're gonna start looking at me. Who's on the case if it's not you? Oh, with all your connections. What is that, an insult? You know who you're looking at? Seven fucking generations on this property. My blood, my people. I mean something. Well, it still doesn't give you the right to start killing cops. Really? Yeah. Plata or plumo? And I always say one in case I need to make a point. You got that? My patience is gone. Two dealers are dead. The money's missing. Now, if these Mexicans get wind of all this, this is going to be a gun to everybody's fucking head. So, I suggest you find the fuck who is messing with my business, and you do it quickly. Yeah. Plata. A plomo means silver or lead. What did you say in English next time? Well, next time I'll just put a bullet in your fucking brain. Now, why don't you turn around and stumble out of here? Prick. No shot, Mr. Walker? Oh, I'm staying off the hard stuff tonight. White iPhone. It's an interesting choice. <laughs> it's my mom's. And she doesn't need it? No, it's just she's, um, resting comfortably at EP General. She's having issues with her liver. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. And yet, here I am, drinking beer. Maybe I'll win son of the year. I'm sure she wouldn't mind you keeping me company. Besides, you can't visit her over there late night anyway. Well, she did say that I needed to get out more. Meet new people. Billy. Sorry about the job, dude. Maybe we hadn't just gotten out. Gotten out? As in jail? Why didn't you tell me? Well, it's not the greatest icebreaker. What do you go to jail for? <laughs> that was messed up. He saw this guy beating his mom at Gino's. How's that a crime? He killed the guy. Must be a nightmare for him. Now his mom's dying over at EP General. Yeah, Grace Andrews. Oh, well. You seen Tyler? No, not lately. He's not returning my text. That's weird. What the hell are they doing here? I have a feeling they're looking for the same guy you are. 
Kevin told you? Damn it. I didn't mean to scare you. What are you doing out here, Billy? I left so quickly today. Making a habit of that. You know, fuck, I don't know. You don't owe me anything. You know, I told myself that I wouldn't drink anymore because I was drunk that night. That's just it. I... I flipped when I saw this man hit my mother. And I saw red. I ain't done with you yet! Hey! And I couldn't stop myself. Seven years. Seven years for a life. I don't even know how that math works out. I... Billy, don't. Don't. You want to know the worst lie you can tell? What? It's the one you tell yourself. Grace raised you right. Why do you say that? He didn't try to kiss me in the parking lot. You know I can see you out there, right? Huh? Getting sick of me already? No. No, I just thought... I don't know. Maybe I said... too much last night. Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. Right. You know, you're not the first person to tell me that. I'm sure I'm not. Sweet man like you. <sighs> you're cute. No, no, no. Maybe when I was younger, or... or from the creepy guy that used to follow me around in the grocery store. But when it came time to make smart decisions in my life or make decisions about men, that was never cute. Uh, hey, you tell yourself it's just this once, it's never gonna happen again. And it happens again. You know, I can get him to stop drinking and... Grace, all I was trying... No, no, it just I've... makes things worse. And every man sizes me up in two seconds. They know everything about me before they even finish their beer. You know, it sometimes it really does change a, a little. No, that's a lot. And you, you just become completely disconnected to this crappy, crappy just reality that you're just stuck in. Zero, zero control. All just because you foolishly gave it away. I didn't mean to stir things up. No, no, no. Just the opposite. Just the opposite. <laughs> The only man that has made me feel cute in a really long time. Hey. What happened to your forehead? Hunting accident. You guys got cameras? Can't be too careful. Mind if I check the tapes? That's from Mike. Yeah, I look awful. I'm supposed to be the only one sick in here. Hey, they're gonna. 
get you one real soon, okay? I promise you that. Well, I wish I shared your optimism. The nurses keep just looking at me like I'm a lost cause. You want me to talk to him? No, I have a bodyguard. Really? Mr. Candleman? His name is John. See the reason for that smile you're wearing? Well, he is the only man that doesn't look at me like just a piece of beef. Mm, maybe he's a vegetarian. <laughs> maybe you're an asshole. <laughs> Well, I am the son. That is my rule. Speak of the devil, John. This is my son. Billy Walker. How do you know that? Mr. Schofield. Schofield? John, I did not know. But your son murdered mine. I got remarried after I had Billy. John, please. Please. No, nah, there's, there's nothing more to say. John, please, John, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. No. JW, got a hit on your DNA. He was already in the system. Walker, Billy, 37. Ah, oh, fresh out of the box. Can you give the info to Somerset when you're finished? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. I'll approve. No. Hey there, Bubba. Four. You looking to set a record? Oh, no, I just need a little liquid courage. For what? How's your mom doing? I don't ask. You don't want to know. No more shots. I've got a better idea. Oh. Hear me. Asshole duty calls. You seen Tyler? Why the fuck would I have seen him? You shouldn't be drinking, bro. You're on parole. Fuck you. Stop. Stop. Are you guys dating now or what? You need to go. Bro, I didn't mean Blow to. Blow my shit out of the water? Why don't you take your daddy's money and fuck off, huh? Que traes pendejo. Fuck you! Stop! Stop! You want to go back to jail? You know what, Jen? Good luck dating that guy. Got any more advice for me? Yeah. Billy, it's Sarah, your PO. How's the job search going? It's not.
Heard you boys are looking for me. Well, here I am. I'm gonna kill you, you mother... You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. But you never heard me when I said I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Where's my money? I know you hear me. Oh, oh what the fuck, man? <laughs> fuck. I can't help but imagining when all this began in your mind. You didn't think your life would end up in a fucking slaughterhouse, did you? Stealing from me means you also stole from some rough fucking people. Don't do this. And the cowboys? There's no sense pleading with them. I'm sure you got that. So you got one choice. And it's simple. Where's my money? Fuck you. You brought it on yourself. Let's do it. Now, son, look me in the eye. Where's my money? When I first went to prison, I thought it was tough. But these guys were fucking maniacs. <laughs> so I took my beatings. Real fucked up shit. <sighs> But after a couple of years, I actually started to enjoy it. I gotta tell you, that does not bode well for you. And just why might that be? Because when I get out of here, I'm gonna take my left thumb and I'm gonna gouge out your left eyeball with it. <laughs> You are more full of shit than a Christmas turkey. That was the incorrect answer. Senores, cut off his left thumb. Where's my money? I spent it all saving someone. <laughs> Is that worth your life, asshole? Why? Your turn. Where's the money? Fuck you. That is the incorrect answer. Now I guess you kill me, is that your plan? I'm not a bad guy. Sometimes we do fucked up shit in this world.
Like stealing my money. Yeah. They can take you some of my money, but you're not gonna get far because I will hunt you down. Hey, Doc. What the hell happened to you? I got your money. Welcome back. Half hour more, you would have bled out. Oh, man, I don't give a fuck about me. When can my mom get her liver? you stole this money from will come looking for it. So bury my file. No, I, I can't. You were admitted. Eventually, this all leads back to my door, and I didn't go to eight years of medical school to end it with my head in a fucking ditch. Are you done lecturing me? Billy, I got your mom's enzyme test back. She's only got a few weeks left. Even if I took your money, my guy can't get a liver in time. God! Save the tough guy act, all right? You're only alive right now because of me. Do you know what I had to do to get that money? Stop talking. If you stole this cash from who I think you stole it from, my guy works for the same people. They have eyes everywhere. Yes. Yes, the same guy. He's got to shut up your cowboys and killed my dealers. Yes, it's the same goddamn guy. I'm telling you that right now, and those guys have been with me for a long time. I want you to do one thing. I want that kid dead. You understand me? Just send the bus good. of a working man. Goodbye, Billy. Okay. Well, no more lies. But you gotta do me a favor. Anything? I need you to hang on. Okay, you're so close. You're so close. Mm, Billy, sometimes things just don't work out the way you want them to. Mr. Schofield was treating you right, wasn't he? It wasn't your fault. Well, well he was a long-term kind of guy, right? I'm not going to spend the rest of my time on what else. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. I'm here. Go get cleaned up. I'm not going anywhere right now. I'm right here. Hey there, Bubba. Yo. You've been a busy little beaver since you got out of the joint, ain't you? 
Don't make me ask you again, goddammit. I ain't got all fucking day. For what it's worth, I did it for my mom. My question is, what made you think robbing the cartel could save her? She needs a new liver. I found out 160 grand would get her a new one. Oh, shit. I feel your pain, kid. But I got my own money problems. Hold it. Turn around. Get on your fucking knees. One question. What was in Tyler's house? Girls. Young, scared, tied up. I let them go. Why? Why? It's the right thing to do. You're gonna die, kid. But it doesn't mean I have to be the one that pulls the trigger. The Reynolds, and those cowboys, they'll hunt you down and find you. Sure as I'm standing here. Get out of El Paso, kid. Keep running and don't look back. This piece of shit has a name, Billy Walker. And I want you to educate him about pain. You don't belong in here. This is the Lord's house. Not a second goes by where I don't think about your point. Don't you dare. Don't you dare stand there and justify it. Not to me, not ever. Nothing I'll say can do that. What do you want? I need a favor. You want? You want a favor? Favor John. for me? I, I, come on, let go of him right now. This is the bastard who destroyed my life. Take it outside. I will not have violence in my church. Now go, please, just leave. Go, go. Come, John. Sit, please. Come on. I'm sorry. I know. I know. Sit down. Hey, Mr. Walker, you need to call me back right now. Hey, 
I need an APB on Billy. You're not the mom. No, I'm the cop. <laughs> really? Is there something I can help you boys with? Not really. I'm just a guy who always felt that... Cops get in the way. They warned me don't ever kill a cop. Well, my patience is worn out, and you're in the way. Now you're not in the way. And that's enough of that. Just hear me out, please. No, I don't want to hear it. Boy, you got some balls. Whether you come here, what, looking for forgiveness? Yeah, fine, go on in. Fall on your knees, but you're not gonna get it from me. Take care of my mother. What? She never did anything wrong, man. Only mistake she ever made was having me. I've seen the way she looks at you. I've never seen her smile like that before. If there really is a gun, and you're falling for her, too. Don't you know? Your mother is dying. She doesn't have to. You know... I've never been able to do one thing for my mom. But now I can. Look, it doesn't matter how much money you got in there. You can't change her fate. I think I can. And you work at El Paso, General. You can get us the drugs that we're gonna need. Drugs for what? I want to give my mom my liver. <laughs> we're a perfect match. We're both AB negative, please. I, you haven't thought this through. Besides, it's completely illegal. People are coming after me. What do you mean? What people? That's not important. The point is, I've been everywhere I'm gonna go. My chances are all used up, and I'm, I'm done. Please. I'm asking you, please. We're sitting here in a church courtyard. You're asking me to help take a life. No. I'm asking you to help save one. What can I get you? This kid's name is Billy. He thinks he's a unique individual. Have you ever seen him? Never seen him. You're sure? Yeah, I never forget an asshole in my bar. I got $500 in my pocket, cash, for anybody here in the bar who can tell me where Billy Walker is at. You got the five. No help. No help. I don't know him. You got game, ma'am. Hey. You serious about the money? El Paso General. He's probably there. How would you know that? His mom. She's a patient there. Actually, she's dying. And that dude, he's a serious mama's boy. 
Grace Andrews. Yeah, that's her. De nada. Did they tell you? Hey guys, can I get a second? Yeah. I told you. Dr. Perkins is a miracle worker. I'm still in shock. You worried about the surgery? No. I just never thanked you. For what? I spoke with my PO. She told me what she did. Sarah wasn't supposed to tell you. Yeah. Don't be mad. She's a mom, too. She actually came by to check on you. Many thanks. She's an angel. You know, uh... You got me through everything. I'm a mother. That's my role. Sir, we need to get your mom back to prep. Yeah. Listen. Don't worry, okay? You're gonna be fine. I see you the second I get out. Okay. Where is it? Nothing. Sometimes things do work out the way you want them to. That money is a great gift. You'll send it. Thanks, man. You're helping a bunch of people. Here's a needle. Good luck. I better get off my chest. The mother or the son? Now go get it done. I wasn't a very good... I wasn't any kind of a father at all. Or a husband, for that matter. You know, um, the thing is, I can't even, I can't picture my son as a baby or as a little boy. I, I can't, I can't. Isn't that terrible? I wasn't the kind of man a boy should look up to or, or learn from. But I guess he did. Uh, I guess I taught him anger. What he got from me was rage. I wasn't in the room that night, but... I'm the one who taught him to double up his fists. See, I was less than a man. Do you have that list ready for me? Yeah. Awesome, thank you. This is to say, no vicious monster. Nurse said you was this one. Sir, you can't come in here. The woman headed to surgery. Is her name Grace Andrews? No. Schofield. Excuse me. 
The thing is, when when Grace looked at me, when whenever she looks at me, I don't need to get any closer to God than that. I deeply love you, Mother. Let's take care. You lucky fuck. You got off easy. What happened? DOA, <clears throat> a gunshot and multiple stab wounds. Are you family? You don't seem too sure what you just told me. What about the mom? I just worked in the morgue. You don't look like somebody that works at the morgue. Well, you don't look like family. God damn it! Pendejo dirtbag. He said he had to go. Did he do something stupid again? He didn't say. But he did ask me to take care of you. You're going to need a nurse. What did you say? I said yes. <laughs> you rest now, huh? Plenty of time now for everything else.
I thought you gave that shit up. What's good for the goose? You found the mother, right? Yep. Died of liver failure. And the money? I'd die too. She had a hundred bucks in her bank account. You want it? You remember what I said? You threatened me. I tried to, but you didn't get it. So how about this? care about the drugs but the girls children really we found 32 sets of dna inside a six-year-old little girl just one of thousands you had to go and be animals not me fuck you Point yourself to death, you pig. I'll see you in hell. You're welcome, kid. This is Detective John Wayne Asher. We'll need a bus and a corner at the old Reynolds Ranch. Too, ma'am. Surprise me. Ready? There's a real evil in the world, Mom. A pure evil. I've seen it. It tends to follow men like me. So I had to go. I'm not sure where I'll end up. But please know that I'm leaving here with a peaceful feeling. I believe in good, and I just never drifted that way. I believe in you. I believe in John. And I believe that we'll be together again someday, in another time and place. Always with you, Billy. There's a land that is fairer than day And by faith we can see it afar For the Father waits over the way To prepare us a dwelling place there in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore we shall sing of that beautiful shore The melodious songs of the blessed And our spirits shall sorrow no more Not a sigh for the blessing of rest
precious friend that I love so dear. We said goodbye on that cold, dark day. In my dreams, I can still see your face. It mends my heart. Shall meet on that beautiful shore.